Welcome to the next lesson in our fingerstyle uh, ukulele course uh, using rock riffs and uh, as you've just heard uh, today's lesson is going to be the fabulous uh, Paranoid by Black Sabbath. Um, I don't know if you play guitar already or if you learned to play guitar when you were younger. Uh, for me Paranoid was one of the first riffs I ever learned on the guitar so it's really really important for me. Um, pretty easy to learn, you know, sort of basic pentatonic uh, lick that was very common at the time. So the Paranoid was written in 1970. Now, um, we're going to convert that into uh, a fingerstyle piece with the main riff, but also with the verse. And with the verse, then, uh, we're going to learn a new technique that we haven't really done uh, before so far. Um, and that's to use an alternating picking technique uh, with our thumb. So let's get up close and I'm going to show you how to do it. So as I said uh, in the introduction, then, it's a pentatonic riff, fairly simple to do. Um, we're going to start with uh, the, notes, uh, the notes E and B and we have a little grace note which we can just hammer on from A to B like that so when I'm plucking I'm plucking E and A open and hammering on and doing that three times and then moving into the next uh, part now on the electric guitar that would be a hammer on riff yeah, that, that sounds thin and, and weedy on the uh, on the ukulele. One because it's it's an octave higher than the guitar, and the um, the the ukulele has very little sustain, and that's why I prefer to use this uh, this campanella technique of using all the strings when I can. And you can hear them all ringing at the same time. Okay, so opening lick three times. Alright, so how do we do this then? We're going to play uh, the note A open, as usual, and then B on the 7th fret of the E string, D on the 7th fret of the uh, G string, 4th string, and E on the 7th fret of the 1st string. So like this. Okay, I can hold all the notes, they're all ringing. And the second part then, take my finger off to play A, and go A, B, D, and back to B. Okay, so all together. And do that four times as the main intro. Okay, now then, um, for the verse, and really the song, the, the, the structure of the song is, uh, is verse, and there are a couple of breaks. Um, including an instrumental break. There's no real chorus. All right, now, um, being one of the first uh, heavy metal songs, it's very chuggy. So on the uh, on the original record, then it's going to be power chords. Down to D, to G, back to D, and then back to E, like that. Now, we're going to convert this into a finger star piece. And I'm going to play an E minor chord. Now you should know what an E minor chord is already. If you don't know what the chords are, look look them up. Okay, but um, my my E minor chord then is going to have two E's in it, so I'm not putting my uh, my uh, third finger on the second string. I'm leaving it open, so I've got two E's. So I've got E E open on the uh, second string, and E on the fourth string of the first one. Okay, now then, that's the pattern. Now you notice what I'm doing now is I'm playing all four notes on the ukulele. Two of the notes on the ukulele are played with the thumb. And I'm going to alternate with my fingers between those two notes. So I'm going to play down with the thumb with the E, up with the thumb on the second string, the same note, and then down with the thumb on the G, and up with the fingers on the note B, like that, so alternating between the two. So this is the thumb, and between those notes, okay, so can you see that with my uh, with my picking hand? Okay, down with the thumb, up with the index, down with the thumb, up with the middle, or up with the ring, as you prefer. So this is the thumb, So in between the thumb notes. All right, 
right? Now, if you've never done that before, you really need to practice and get it up to speed. Okay. All right, this is what um, we call alternate, um, alternate picking or alternate bass picking, um, where on other instruments like, like the guitar, you can accompany yourself with a melody. Um, using your thumb to alternate between two strings and playing a melody at the same time is called Travis picking. It's commonly known as Travis picking. Um, I don't like that expression. I, there, there was a guy called Mel Travis uh, who developed the technique. He certainly didn't uh, invent it. For me, it's just an, alter, uh, an alternate uh, picking. Uh, patterns that we have there, right? So we're not doing Travis picking right now because we're only playing a chord, we're not playing any melodies. But this is a very, very useful skill to have, to alternate between thumb and fingers. Okay, so we do that and then we drop down to... I'm going to play a slightly different pattern now. I'm going to drop down to... Um, what would be a D... A D sus 2 chord? So it's like a D chord, okay, but there's no uh, there's no finger on the second string. So I'm going to play the note E again. Keep this note E going. All right, and the pattern changes slightly. Where I'm just going to put in uh, some longer notes there. Okay, so it's going to go from E. So, so you're going to count one, two, three, four, down to the D. Okay, so one and two and nothing for the three and four. Okay, and you hear that? So it's going to go. Da, 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 da. And to finish, I can strum or I can pluck G chord, D chord, and back to E minor like this. Down to my D sus2. Oops. There. Okay. Now to finish that that bar with the E minor. So where I'm going. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pluck uh, the notes G here on the second uh, string, third fret of the second string, and the note B on the second uh, fret of the first string, and just a little bend. Okay. Not not uh, not even a half step. Just a little bend like that and back into my riff. So let's do that right from the beginning. And back into it. Okay, so that's what we're learning today. We're learning to alternate with our thumb. You can pluck the uh, G to D and back into E minor, that little bended uh, double stop. Okay, and then the break is... Uh, I'm going to slow that rhythm down again. So instead of doing this uh, regular... Okay, so I'm just going to be in the break between the two verses. Just going to do that into a C chord, back to my D sus2, and then back to my, my E minor chord, and do that again, and back into it, so the tune goes, So this is our lesson for today, then use alternate picking with our thumb, putting your notes in between where the thumb is playing. And uh, as I said in the previous lesson, once, uh, once you've done that, um, try it with other chords as well, see what it sounds like. Let's look for an A minor, we've got a, a, got a C in the bass with our A minor, what does that sound like? So down with the thumb. We 
could do our famous four chords if you want to. A minor to F to C to G. The picking pattern is exactly the same. And you'll start to realise that that's one of the one of the best ways to accompany yourself when you're singing is just to keep that pattern uh, going. Um, but don't rigidly rigidly stick to the patterns either. You can always mix them up. Uh, sometimes by missing out a note and extending another one. So if you're you know if you're doing this just like I did in Paranoid, change, just change and slow down. Let some space uh, in the music to, to breathe uh, as well and to create uh, extra dynamics. Thank you for watching this lesson today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification button if you want to get notifications as to when the next uh, lesson uh, is coming. I hope you're enjoying that. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget you can get printable tabs uh, on Patreon as well. And uh, your support on Patreon will be much uh, appreciated. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.